Hey everybody, my name is Liz. I'm a farmer and I work for SARE helping to coordinate some of our grants here in the North Central region. And one question we get a lot is, is my idea a good fit for a SARE grant? I think the best way to answer that question is to look at what's been funded recently. You're going to go to northcentral.sare.org, scroll over grants, and then click on NCR SARE grants. And then you've got all of our grants here. And you can click on the one you're interested in applying for, click learn more. All the way at the bottom, you see recent grant projects and you can click on whichever grant you're interested in applying for. And you're gonna get a table with information about every grant that was funded last year, what they were doing and how you can learn more. One quick note here, Sarah actually has six different grant programs. The grantees you're going to hear from next are all farmers and ranchers who have received one of our farmer rancher grants, but we also have grants for youth educators, for researchers, for graduate students, for ag professionals working locally. Um, there's some really neat programs here in the SARE world, and we hope that you'll look into these and say, yeah, my idea is actually a really good fit. I think I better talk to the SARE staff or reach out to some of the other resources and put a proposal together. Right now, let's hear from some of our recent Farmer Rancher grant recipients. And if you're curious about their projects, under their names are their grant numbers. You can type that into the SARE database and see all the details of their proposals. Hi, my name is Holly Evans and my husband Randall Buck and I have Rosie Buck Farm. We got a SARE grant this year to study the moisture retention in Hugo culture beds. Hey, this is Josh Payne from Concordia, Missouri. There's plenty for these animals to eat right now, but what about in a drought? Our SARE answer, an automated fodder machine. Raw Roast Turmeric is committed to do sustainable farming. Here we grow turmeric, so we do it all from plant to production. Thank you, SAR, for supporting Raw Roast Turmeric. I'm Deb Weiss of Ethereal Gardens in Harrison, Wisconsin. We practice biointensive agriculture, agroforestry, and permaculture. I'm working on sustainable greenhouse heating in a cold climate using wind power and thermal batteries. Hello, I'm John. And I'm Scott. We're using our SARE grant to investigate turning tree leaves into landscape mulch. It's a hot day here in Southern Illinois, and we are trying to develop a two-dimensional peach system, which hopefully is more productive and efficient than the old system you see directly behind me. Hi, my name is Sabrina Fran. And I'm Sylvester Fran. And, and we're, we're Prairie, Prairie Hills, Hills Farm. Farm. This year, our SARE Research Project grant is looking at the economic viability for goat brush clearing, targeting evases and targeted brush clearing. Hi, I'm Megan Rudroff of Rudy Lane Flower Farm in Rich Mountain, Missouri. My project will be looking at the different methods for overwintering dahlias in Zone 6. Hi, I'm Josh Combs. Together with my wife, we own and operate Combs Bee Farm out of Milford Center, Ohio. Our SARE Farmer Rancher Grant Research Project this year is on improving queen genetics for increasing mite and disease resistance using a newly available tool, selection tool called UBO. I'm Whitney Schlegel from Marble Hill Farm in Monroe County, Indiana. Our farmer rancher grant is looking at wool pellets made from waste wool and their influence on soil health and specialty crop growing systems. Suguli, I'm Jen Falk and I'm working on the SARE grant working with tribal youth to provide indigenous and conventional foods to our tribal community. Hey guys, I'm Marty with Cockadoodle and I'm super excited to announce that we're going to be working with SARE to promote regenerative farming. We're bringing year-round access to local sustainable food and educating our community about its benefits. Thanks. I'm Michael Gishenritter with Three Brothers Farm in southeastern Wisconsin and I am the recipient of two farmer rancher grants. Uh, the first one is for designing a sliding fence system for pasture poultry and the second one is for conducting research on automated feed for pastured poultry. I'm Andy, this is Twin Cities Berry Company, and we are looking at the use of beneficial insects for controlling insect pests inside caterpillar tunnels, high tunnels for high density fruit production. Hi, I'm Shirley Johnson. I own a certified organic farm in central Illinois. 
I have a SARE grant to study goat grazing as an alternative to herbicide treatment for controlling invasive bush honeysuckle in my woods. And here are the goats. Thank you.